Hey, hey, welcome Survivor to some more 7 Days to Die. I'm Vedui42. I'm going to give you a short guide of how to enable some really useful editing tools if you are in creative mode. Not if you're survival, this is creative only. And you might have seen it in the past. I've used it definitely and other people have as well, where you basically hit Z. You hit Z again. You see you mark a nice little area. You hit Escape. You go to the level tools here. And now you just do random decorate select where ooh, you click, 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 click. And every time you click 10% of this vanishes, escape out and everything is gone. Of course, things are falling down. Really useful. And if you're holding in your hotbar down here, a block, you do the same thing. Escape, go in here and you select it. It will actually populate it with whatever block you have, which is really useful escape to come out some of it will fall down for whatever reason which is all right escape in again and just keep doing that until it's working just fine because this seems to be where the si just hasn't caught up and uh, sometimes when you put that back it just hasn't yep it hasn't caught up and it doesn't stand up and then you hit backspace and all is good and it's really good if you want to make let's say you want to make a nice little platform let's hold that one because you're building a base, just fill it in and you'll be good without having to just place it one by one. Convenient, right? Now, it used to be that when you did this before, and for some reason the Funtimps have deleted it, you actually could do clear selection and just clear it entirely. You can do that uh, by itself, and I don't know why the Funtimps actually disable that because it, it's an advanced tool. We're in the level tools, we're in creative menu. And it works really well, but nope, now you have to use the random decorate select, which means you have to keep clicking until it's all gone. I, I don't understand the thinking there, Funtimps. Can you re-enable this, please? It doesn't hurt. It does. It's not confusing for people because most people don't actually know about this. And the people who do know about it shouldn't be confused now because they are editing it. So... Um, it's really useful if you're building a lot of things, so you're testing things out and uh, and do, of course doing in creative. But how do you enable it? Well, let's go have a look in Steam. And of course, if you like this guide, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave me a like, drop some comments in my in my comment section below and follow me on Discord and Twitter and wherever. But uh, let's jump into Steam. In Steam, you find your seven days to die. Right click properties. Local files, browse local files, and this is your game files. You want to go into data, you want to go into config, XUI, and it's the windows.xml. Remember though, when you edit this, it's good to make a, a backup, but when the game updates, say to a new version, this will be overwritten. So you might have to redo this if you update the game and it's no longer there, but it's actually really quick. So edit it, and then you go down to around the 3395, which is, uh, Really useful if you use a notepad plus plus if not just search for level tools and the one you want to get, get rid of is this visible is edit mode because that's the one that is dictating that it's only when you're in the world editor i believe that's visible and you want to have it ed, uh, visible even on the game client when you're playing the game so you just delete that save and you're good to go that's how simple it is so uh, Go and do that, go play around, build some awesome things, test out some things and do it a little bit easier without having to place thousands and thousands of blocks manually. This one can really help out or just clearing out a big area because you need, let's say a flat surface. Again, it also makes it a lot simpler to do. Bump pimps, please put some of these things back and of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.